fits. It barely fits. Alrighty, before we go out, I first want to give you a little introduction. I made it to Cabaretta. I'm here for a clinic, but I also brought my my foil. What I've got here is a 5.2 Nash Hopper surfboard. And as you can see, the rocker is pretty flat. It's pretty thick. That makes you uh, able to go in smaller waves a lot easier. And check out this wing. This wing is pretty big which means it gives you a lot of lift on really, really small waves. I'm gonna go out here, the waves are probably a meter, maybe even less, but it is amazing to see how well this extra large Nash wing is working in such little surf. I'm using the 70 cm for surfing. I don't really wanna use a too, too long of a mast because that way I'm gonna hit the bottom and you don't want that because it's full of reef. My face is pretty white as well, but that's sun cream. Sorry about that. Some other features on this foil is that this back wing you can adjust. So let me turn it around. So what basically happens if you put, if you, if you aim this wing down, this wing goes down, which makes this wing go up. And that means you create more lift. So if there's really, really small waves, Aim the, aim the back wing down if the waves are a little bit bigger and you increase in speed make sure to put that wing up a little bit because if you put it up this wing goes down and creates a little bit less lift you can also use it as a picnic table which is nice another little thing I want to talk about is that on this board Small waves and shitty waves will just become one of the best waves in the world. I'm from Holland, where the waves are pretty shitty most of the time. But with this thing, I've been catching one of the longest waves of my life. And I want to show you some of the waves I'm going to catch now. I better go out before the waves disappear and the wind picks up. There we go. Oh, wait, I almost forgot my t-shirt. Don't want to get sunburned.
I get a lot of people uh, asking me like, where do you put the foil? What's like the sweet spot? I'll show you. So when it comes, just make sure you put it in the center. There's a little arrow here and there's a little dot here. This, this is the center. Make sure you just put it right there when you start. And then once you get a little better at foiling, you can either move it forward or you can move it backwards. And that really, really makes a lot of difference. Um, it's really depending on the weight and what you prefer. So I would highly suggest put it in the middle, do a couple sessions, get, get to know the board, and then start moving around and then find your, find your sweet spot. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.